Hey loves, Mahania here, and today I'm doing the long-awaited VW DIY die cut tutorial. I made the pink VW van last year, and it was highly requested that I do a tutorial, so here it is. I'm first taking my Tombow dual brush pens, and I'm going to color in the van. I have a video how to get images from Pinterest. I will leave the link in the description box below. You can watch that video so that you can find this van and print it. So I'm just coloring in with my Tombow brush pen. I decided to go with this magenta color or fuchsia. I always get confused with those tones or shades I should say. I'm now just coloring in with a gel pen. And once I finish coloring in with this gel pen, I believe it is the Recollections brand. I'm going to cut it out. And I sped the video up because it was like an hour with all the coloring and cutting. So now I'm using my X-Acto knife and I'm going around the windshield wipers and cutting out the windows. After I finished cutting out the windows, I then cut the headlights out or the black part, the centerpiece of the headlights because I'm going to give them a shimmer effect, which you will see later on in the video. Here, everything is already cut out and we're ready to move on to the next step, which will be creating our picture or printing our picture to place in the van. So. I have sized down this picture and it really depends on your picture you kind of have to play around with it I can't really give you actual dimensions I am so sorry about that but I printed my picture it took me two tries to get to the right size and now I'm just placing the van windows over my children's faces to make sure that their little heads will fit in the windows and I'm cutting their heads <laughs> it sounds so weird I'm cutting the top part of their bodies out to place them in the windows and I'm just kind of maneuvering them around to see how I want to place them and I'm just using a piece of washi tape to hold the photos down just in case I didn't like the placing then I could easily remove it without ripping the pictures or the van now that I have their pictures in the place that I want them to be, I am getting out my thermal laminating pouches and these are the 4x6 by Scotch. I'm using the same gold washi tape so that I can create a shimmer effect for the headlights. And I'm just going to actually tape the washi tape down to the thermal pouch. And I'm going to line up the headlights to make sure that they are evenly covered. And I'm going to cut off the extra strip there of washi tape just so the thermal pouch will seal very well. Now that I have it perfectly aligned, I'm just going to run it through my laminator. Once out of the laminator, I cut it out. And here you have it, your finished product. I made a mistake and I accidentally folded one of the mirrors. So what I did was took some of the washi tape and I cut out a rounded rectangle and I placed it over that mirror. And I'm going to do the same for the other mirror. This die cut is just going to sit inside of my planner. So I'm not going to run it through the laminator again. And hopefully the washi tape will stay put. If it does keep peeling off, then I'll just run it through the laminator once again. 
So this is the finish and correct it project die cut. And I absolutely love it. I love the color. Here is my original die cut. For this one, I used a double sided shimmer, as you can see, kind of a iridescent double sided cardstock. And that's how I got the effect of these headlights here. This picture is stuck to the back of this van with a permanent adhesive tape runner. I haven't had any problems with it being removed. And I did it that way because I tried to laminate a photo before I've completed this van. And the pictures, their faces basically turned green. So that's why I decided to print these pictures here on just regular printer paper so that I can laminate it inside of the thermal pouch and it can all be one piece. So the backing is very neat on the light pink van and on this van you can see the washi tape on the back but that's okay because it's going to be laying right side up in my planner pocket. And I will show you here and it was such a coincidence i did not do this on purpose to match it with my new planner cover but it coordinates very well so i was very 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 pleased with the way that it turned out and here it is in my planner pocket and i'm just going to show you the original die cut in there as well and it also fits in my mini happy planner page protector So there you have it and thank you so much to everyone who requested this video. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get it done. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Extravaglam. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or email me extravaglam at gmail.com and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.